Hey guys, what is up? Super Camman20 here with my next Let's Play. And I will be LPing Tag 3, The Great Jube 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 Challenge. Yeah, so. This is totally random. I have not pre. I didn't do a pre playthrough or anything. I just. It's literally 8. It's 8 12 p.m. on Saturday. I uploaded eight parts of Kirby 64 and finished the game. So, and then I was just sitting here. I'm like, screw it. I'm gonna record something. So then I just grabbed Tac 3, the Great Jubu Challenge, and I said, okay, we're gonna LP this. And I will show the cutscenes. Emo! So it was really emo. <laughs> Magnificent! What an incredible feeling! Okay, that's enough. Hey, Buck! Uh, Buck! Uh, we have to go get a few time now so we can start the great Juju challenge. <laughs> you practiced your new Juju abilities enough, Locke. Alright, alright, Mr. I was predicted to be a great warrior in an ancient prophecy, so I gotta be serious all the time and not have any fun, because I'm still trying to prove that I'm special. The lock catcher. Let's go. Good. I mean, these new abilities are really great. <laughs> Sorry, I just thought if you were going to talk, maybe I could just... Hey, there's that phoenix! Yeah, I will be showing off all the cutscenes in this game, and this is the loading screen. It's kind of just start mashing random buttons and stuff happens. But yeah, Attack 3, the Great Juju Challenge, will be my next Let's Play. And as I said, I didn't pre-play this game. This is just totally random. I just grabbed this game, and I'm like, alright, I'm going to LP this game. And honestly, I... To some degree, love this game, and to some degree, was very disappointed with this game. You see that symbol there? Oh uh, yeah, it's very nice. Whenever you see it, you can ask for help. All you do is press the X button. Look for the symbol, ask for help. Gotcha. Wow. All right, so yeah. Anyways, this is Hack Three. It's your basic uh, platformer game. You can jump, double jump. And when you're tagged, you can do this little floating thing. And you have to you have a totally kick-ass lightsaber. You can beat the crap out of your AI. Uh, AI teammate. The X the Y button is this ranged attack. The X button pretty much does nothing right now as attack. R button uses spells, but we don't have any spells. Z we can't use that, and L we can't use that. Uh, wait. Uh, no. Okay. So yeah. 
This is Tag 3. Uh, I bought this game because it was kind of weird. It's kind of odd how it happened, so... Just gonna kill some enemies. Alright, so pretty much, long story short, for my friend's birthday, I bought him Tag 2, Staff of, uh, St Staff of Dreams, which was actually a game I really wanted. So I just thought I'd give it to him so that way I could actually play it. Like, I bought it for him as a birthday present. So after that, and... Staff, and I then I loved playing that game at his house. We both loved that game to death. So then I thought I'd buy the the sequel and that Snake just committed suicide. So the next game to come out in the series, Tag Three Great Juju Challenge, is this one. And I bought this game. Definitely isn't as good as Staff of Dreams. I never played the first one, so I can't comment on that. But it's definitely not as good as Staff of Dreams. This is a really lame tutorial level. But yeah, long story short, it's just your basic uh, kid-friendly platformer. You have infinite, as we saw in the opening cutscene, you have infinite, you have infinite respawns. So it's not going to be challenging, like. But what can I say? It's fun. Definitely not as good as Staff of Dreams. I still. Staff Dreams could still pwn this one, but, you know, not bad. <laughs> Ever since Link to the Past, gamers have, an uh, a sesh, uh, uh, have been addicted to killing chickens. Yo. How the heck do I get up there again? Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Oh, I totally... Oh, boy, I totally forgot about this move. Okay, whatever. Uh, do I have to hit him? Yep, hit him. So, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. It, like, I don't really have to explain it. It's just your basic platform. You run around, beat up enemies, go to the end of the level. But, you know, it's good. It's, it's, it has lots of great humor, and I will be showing every single cutscene in this game. This game is worthy of the cutscenes, because some of these cutscenes, uh, I'm not sure. I, th they were definitely funnier when I was a kid, there's no doubt about that. Like, like the cutscenes were definitely a lot funnier when I was a kid, but I'm still going to leave them in, just in case, just see if I, you get a cheap laugh here and there. The problem, I won't, I probably won't laugh at these opening cutscenes, because I know these ones, like, by heart, but... Later on in the game, hopefully there'll be like a cutscene that surprises me or something. Really hard to. I haven't even got to talk about this game's gimmick yet, which, which is what makes it so different than the first one. But awesome cutscene. Oh, there's no way around. Ah, it's okay. We'll just swim across. Can't do it. Won't do it. It's not deep, lock. We can make it. Are you afraid of water? <laughs> of course not. Water's just wet. I enjoy being wet. So what's the problem? It's what's in the water. Fish hate me. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That's true. Big fish, small fish, they all have it in for the lock. Come on in, lock. The fish are fine. those gorillas later. Yeah, and if that cutscene didn't even put a smile on your face, you are dead on the inside. Like, I didn't laugh at that, because I knew, I, I love, because I've seen that cutscene so many times, but, like, if it's your first time watching this, and that cutscene didn't even put a smile on your face, I don't give a crap how old are you, you are dead inside. Might as well just jump off a cliff and you won't respawn. 
but yeah. And that drains water, yay, water draining. Hey, how come I'm always following you? Because, because, I want to be the Because, because. Alright, now here's for the big gimmick of this. It's easy. Just press the Z button. Yep. You can play as Locke. And these characters interact with each other in various ways. I don't quite remember the controls. Yeah. Yeah, the controls are. Okay, so pretty much bottom line for the switching controls, you press the Z button to switch. And if you hold R and press Z, you can switch so that way the AI will follow you and then you can make him stay there. So right now he's staying there, and then look. Uh, 